This is a very unfortunate case of necrosis post dermal filler injection. It's as a result of an intravascular injection. So injection of dermal filler into this area, most likely the mental artery. And this then led to loss of skin in the area. What we saw from the story was that the injector did try and inject hyaluronidase to dissolve the filler. But if you're doing it blind, you don't know what you're doing. This is why the use of ultrasound is really important when dealing with filler complications. Also, there are guidelines on how to deal with necrosis, step-by-step -step guidelines that are evidence-based. The use of turmeric latte is not evidence-based. This again highlights how important regulation is with dermal fillers. It may seem so trivial. You may do a thousand treatments and think that you know what you're doing, but without continual education and an in-depth knowledge of anatomy, as well as ultrasound imaging and medical qualifications, that one in 10,000 may not be safe. So here we are. Do you agree with the increased regulations within the industry? Let me know in the comments below and we can discuss.